They are not simply thrown over the stone and have their hearts cut out. They actually engage in a form of ritual combat. An enemy prisoner would be tied to the stone in front of a pumped up crowd. To enhance the spectacle, he was given a wooden sword decorated with feathers. Then he was set upon by elite Aztec warriors armed with battle swords. The basic idea was is to actually bring to life the drama of the battlefield in all of its bloody glory. After the captive was slain, his heart was cut out and offered to the sun god. And Tlahuicol was captured in a great battle and forced to perform in one of these gladiatorial combats. But when Tlahuicol was tied to the stone, something amazing happened. He fought and killed no less than 20 warriors. Our museum secret is, how did he do it? John believes part of the answer is in the nature of the Aztec sword. So we begin our investigation here, in a sierra outside of Mexico City. These hills were mined by Aztec sword makers. They weren't looking for iron, but for volcanic glass called obsidian. Obsidian shards are sharper than a finely honed blade of steel. There are no surviving Aztec swords, so we asked archaeologist historian Alejandro Pastrana to make one. On a piece of solid Encino wood, he insets obsidian shards. To hold them in place, he uses traditional Aztec glue. Es una mezcla de copal y cera calentándose se se hace chicloso y se cristaliza. Alejandro has taken care to make the new sword according to the Aztecs' precise specifications. All the elements should combine to produce a sword of similar power. Una fuente dice que casi de uno o dos tajos casi desprenden la cabeza de un caballo. Up against such a weapon, it's hard to imagine how Tlahuico could have defended himself with his sword of feathers. But John wants to see for himself how effectively the obsidian sword cuts through flesh. To stand in for Tlahuicol, he's purchased some meat from a local butcher. The idea is that this would be the first cut. The, the jaguar warrior approaches Tlahuicol and lets him have it. Is there a particular place that he would hit first? El entrenamiento va a el uh -huh. brazo. Al brazo, sí. Y tú pierdes tu escudo o sí. tu macuahui. Ah, sí. ¿Listo? Listo. Whoa, man, look at that. Okay. That is